What's, I, thank you. I hold the legal profession in high esteem. But one of the things that was very obvious to me as a layperson, as a person on the Clapham omnibus during the committee stage, is that the lawyers disagreed. And they kept disagreeing. And for me, that was very upsetting because it meant chaos instead of clarity. And the same thing is happening again. And so all I can do is, when I support this amendment, is to think to myself that what I need is to apply my intelligence and my political knowledge and actually think, perhaps, um, what is the safest thing to do? Now, last time, during the committee stage, some noble lords insisted, uh, members of the benches opposite, the government benches, insisted that the Charters is some sort of bureaucratic bogeyman created by the EU to destroy parliamentary sovereignty and create a whole load of new rights which are fundamentally opposed to the British way of life. That's what we heard. And now, later, other noble lords, including the minister, asserted that the Charter does nothing of significance, absolutely nothing, and that all the Charter rights exist elsewhere. Well, they can't both be right, both of those points of view, and in fact, I think neither of them is right. My Lords, I'm not convinced that what we've heard is actually a fair representation of what exists, because if two views are so opposing, what are we to believe? I think that we are losing rights that are fundamental to our modern way of life. Very many people outside of your Lordship's chamber think that Brexit is nothing more than an attempt by elites, and that's us and others like us, to tear up everyone's rights and freedoms. Now, I voted for Brexit, but that wasn't the Brexit that I had in mind. And if we lose the Charter of fundamental, human, uh, fundamental Rights today, then I will feel I've been complicit in doing exactly that. <coughs> I will leave it to other more learned lords to try and work out what exact effect would be um, of retaining or losing the Charter. But on the Clapham Omnibus, it feels that the, as if we're spinning round in circles. And I would like to ask a very simple question. If I were unusually kind, and give the government the benefit of the doubt and accept that the charter rights are all, all in our law elsewhere, then one question would still remain. Why would your Lordship's House replace a simple codified charter with a complex and diffuse legal mess? I simply don't understand that. The general tra trajectory of good lawmaking is to take complexity and make it simpler and more elegant. This House often takes a chaotic mix of case law, statutes and treaties and rewrites them in codifying statutes which put them all together in one place and make them easy to understand. I can't think of another example in this bill or in any other bill where this House has been asked to take a simple legal situation and make it infinitely more complex while seeking to achieve exactly the same thing. It simply doesn't make sense to scrap the Charter of fundamental rights. It's our duty as a revising chamber to actually make sure that outside people understand exactly what we are trying to preserve and what we're trying to preserve is fundamental rights and freedoms. Disagree. My lords, um, uh, I would like just to say a, a few words about this uh, 